Opening in theaters this week from Searchlight Pictures is the historical drama Chevalier, and here's my review. The French composer, Joseph Boulogne, has been largely forgotten, especially in Paris and some of the other classical music composers of the time, so it's good to have a film centered on his life. Despite the strong acting and some inspired moments here and there, though, Chevalier never rises above the usual standard period piece, and the presentation comes across as surprisingly dry. While the music does play a role in the story, the filmmakers mostly focus on his love life, which is not nearly as interesting. What keeps one somewhat engaged is with the performances, which do give some life to the people on screen. Calvin Harrison Jr. depicts Chevalier as someone dedicated to the music, as well as someone who has to navigate the frequent racism thrown at him. He plays well off Samara Weaving as his love interest, with Weaving providing all the emotions the role requires of her as she sneaks behind her husband's back. Lucy Boynton also impresses as Marie Antoinette, showing her someone admiring of Chevalier's talents while the French Revolution is occurring in the background. It's a different depiction of the famous French queen than we're accustomed to seeing on screen. At times, there is a sly sense of humor that livens things up a bit. The film especially seeks to show how the French elite view the arts, while nonetheless partaking in their own hobbies that rightfully appear absurd to modern viewers. However, Chevalier eventually starts to get bogged down by the relationship drama. There's a lot of attention given to his relationship with Weaving's Marie Josephine, and this gets in the way of the creation of his music. Despite the actor's best efforts, this does not develop into anything particularly interesting. Chevalier's mother returning to his life is not a compelling subplot either. Even though the film tries to explore the rise of the French Revolution, it barely touches on the real reasons why the people revolted against the monarchy. The best scenes in Chevalier are when it sticks to his musical career. The opening sequence where he has a violin duel against Mozart is a fun way to introduce him and start the movie. There's also a well-done montage that shows the development of his opera, and one wishes there were more moments like that. As expected from a production like this, the period details are solidly put together by the crew. Chevalier mostly just becomes an ordinary period piece and a dry biography. There's potential in an exciting story about this historical figure most are not aware of, but it mostly plods along, with only occasional inspiration striking here and there. The ensemble cast really helps to elevate the film above the standard direction and safe script, but even the social commentary falls a tad short. There just need to be a bit more energy happening outside of the musical scenes. The ending titles that provide further information about the real Chevalier somehow present more compelling narrative than what transpires on the screen.